Riddle might have got the wrong person. Maybe some other monster was attacking people. And these monsters to think this place could on. We always knew Hagrid was expelled. And the attacks must have stopped then. Otherwise, Riddle wouldn't have got his award. Riddle's diary! It's gone! What? But only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. The voice! I just heard it again. Didn't you? I didn't hear anything. Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. But the Gonagall said we have to stay in here unless we're in class. And I've got to talk to Hagrid. If he set the monster loose last time, he knows how to get inside the Chamber of Secrets. Hagrid's hut is out in the grounds, Harry. But you know that. Follow me, Harry. Hey everyone, I'm Maura, and welcome to part 13 of my walkthrough for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, in this video, I'm going outside to Hagrid's hut, uh, and then it'll primarily be me in the Forbidden Forest. Uh, looking to get to Aragog's lair. Yeah, single bean. And it's nighttime, so now when I get outside, I should be able to unlock those hidden areas, some of those hidden areas again that I couldn't before because I didn't know the spells. And yes, um, even though I unlocked them all now during the daytime, uh, I only had played them once at night and I can get to them all and I'm going to do that before I head to Hagrid's hut. Okay, so four places to get to now that it's evening. I know one of them, I think, I think, does this count? Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Yep, because there are beans. I got the card that was there before during the daytime. And I should get to this now. Yeah, again, I already got to it in the daytime, but not when I was here at night because I hadn't learned Defendo. Okay, I should get to this too. Again, even though it was during, did it during the day, I didn't get to it the first night I was here because I hadn't learned Defendo. Yeah, it just gives me beans, but who cares? The more beans, the better. Although, I don't think I'll be able to do any more trading for Wiganweld Potion ingredients, and I've, I'll be getting the last of the seven cards. Yes, I think I've seven cards left. Two silver and five bronze that I'll get uh, six of them in the forest. The last one, the last bronze card will be in the chamber. So I should be good to go by the time I fight the basilisk. A full six lightning bolts. And I'll have to jump on this again because there will be beans there. Yep, I saw them. Yeah, I guess uh, between day and night, even after I've explored these places, they change. If I have, if I've only explored them in the day, but not at night, they change with be chests being open and closed, and with uh, quantity of beans. Oh well, just like it did in the that chest in the Gryffindor common room. Okay, I opened that chest my first night here at the very beginning of the game, so I don't need to get down there. Okay. And let me see. Yeah, I want to bounce when I can because it'll leave me safely do the fall. Let's see. Okay, I've got them all. All six uh, hidden areas. 
maybe someday in the future I'll make a videos of all the hint locked hidden areas I can find outside the castle, inside the castle, that means the at Hogwarts Entry Hall and the Grand Staircase and the classroom flo floors on which the classrooms are. Um, and I haven't figured it out, but I know that each spell challenge has its own number of hidden areas, so I may, may make videos of those challenges someday too to show all the hit oops, all the hidden areas. And if I do if I do that, I will also show where you can find each of the cards and uh, challenge stars in, in each of the challenges. So even though I've pretty much made videos for all the ch individual videos for all the challenge spell challenges I've done, I'll make them again someday showing to show where all the stars stars challenge stars are and where all the wizard cards hidden in those challenges are located and hidden areas. Okay, when I walk up, it'll intercut to Hagrid, Dumbledore, and Lucius conversing, so I'll be quiet the next few seconds. Shh. I just saw someone who looks very much like Lucius Malfoy coming into Hagrid's heart. Bad business, Hagrid. A very bad business indeed. Things have gone far enough. As chairman of the school governance, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? Away to where? Not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. But all twelve of the governors feel it's time for you to step aside. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my reward, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I only truly have left this school with none here unloyal to me. You will also find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Of course, if anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them, right? That's the key to the whole thing. And that's all I'm saying. Come along now, Hagrid. All right, I'm coming. We're in trouble now. Oh, Dumbledore. There'll be an attack a day with him gone. Look, over there. Looks like they're heading for the Forbidden Forest. All right, um, before I head into the forest, see if I can collect any beans laying about. Wow, that's a mother load. Hmm, I don't think I have any potion ingredients. No. Okay, and now I begin my trek through the Forbidden Forest to find Aragog. And as I said, there are six cards uh, to find in my trek here. Alright. 
Uh oh, there are boat truckers on the other side. But I know there's a hidden area here to find another card. Okay, this isn't it, but there are beans in this chest. I don't think that even though I've got lots, still got lots of beans, there won't be. Uh, uh, let's see, can I? Okay. Okay, I think it's right there. And All right. Wow. I think I just have one more silver card to go. Um, I was trying to say though that after this I will soon gonna be almost automatically going to head down into the chamber so I won't have any more chances for trading especially for Wigan Well potion ingredients but I think I will be able to find uh, ingredients on my trek here even flubber or mucus and when I'm down in the chamber but I've got a, got 20 potions so far ooh whoa that's a huge venomous tentacula Let's see, can I... There is that big one I encountered. Uh... Oh yeah, I could avoid it going up here. Uh-oh. I think... This bridge, this bridge will fall if I try to cross it, so I'm gonna... I'm not going to go up there. Yeah, I'd fall just into all these, into all these, uh, pork lump mushrooms, and I don't want to take a chance losing a lot of stamina because of it, so... Just kill them as much, kill as many as I can, and I hear a gnome babbling about. Well, let's see how many are still about. Yeah, that may have severed a couple. Uh, okay. Uh, am I good? No, I think. Mm. All right, it looks like I've severed all of them. Why do I bother? Oh, and I could just. <gasps> yes! Oh, I guess, well, because it's night, I automatically have Lumos here. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think I got them all down. Let's see. Oh, here, there's an Acromantula. Yeah, squish the spiders. So the spiders. Me squish the spiders. And uh, kill the spiders, the acromantulas, I mean. Okay, um. So pixies. Okay, yeah, because I think I'm gonna. Well, there's another one. I'm gonna have to cast uh, Spongify on some of these, and if pixies bite, they can, are in the air and bite, uh, Harry, they can interfere with my, um, jumping, uh, like, I won't be able to land where I want to be, where I want to land, um, what I mean is, like, they bite, then I may not be able to land on my desired target, 
Let's see. Was... Alright, um... Okay. Um... I guess that's if I fell. Um... Well, what about the card? Uh... uh well, maybe if I have to go down... Uh, oh, so I got... But, well... Gotta get down there... Again. Yeah, so if I hadn't killed those pixies, they would have probably been biting me and thus I interfered with where I needed to land. And I wouldn't... I, it would, I'd fall short. <laughs> literally. It was literally, in a sense. Um, okay. Uh, yes, they're... Now, let's see. Doesn't doesn't happen so much in in this game as it does in the first game, but I think uh, if you saw remember like in this when I began the sponge fight challenge, when I got rid of all the gnomes and throw them into the holes, that unlocked the hidden area with the lumos, uh, the gargoyle, and I was able to get into uh, find unlock to light up that hidden ledge that allowed me to get two of the cards, so there are a couple of moments where you do things um, like that in this game, though not as much as in the Philosopher's Stone, that do actions with certain characters you get, th or creatures, you do unlock a hidden surprise that can lead to, what was that, uh, something benefit for me, so I think... So yeah, getting killing all those uh, acromantulas unlocked this hidden area here, and I think it might have the last silver card. Let's just see. Well, well, well. All right, I got them all. I got all forty silver cards. So. At the end of the game, after I defeat the basilisk and Tom Riddle. I, before I go to the end of the year feast, I will I will do the gold card challenge. But I will also make a separate video of that in the future showing how to do it. But I will do it as part of this walkthrough before the, the f uh, before I finish with the f uh, end of the year feast. Okay, um, let's see. I think there's there are two more bronze cards for me to find. Uh oh, here are some of those nasty little impish beasts. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, it can't get to me. Uh. Gotta hurry, because they do recover quickly. I don't think anything happens if I throw all three of these imps into the hole here. But, let me see where that other one is. Here it is. A hidden chest.
Dang it. Come on, let me try it again. They were difficult to uh, literally handle. Okay. Sometimes not all of them will uh, fall back when you hit them. You may have to hit them, uh, cast the spell twice. Alright, see that? Alright, see that's what I mean. there's a chocolate frog to replenish my stamina. Alright, can I find others? Okay. Let me take a look. I want to see, again, how many Okay, three more. Just want to make sure I find the last last two in here. Let me see where I am. Uh, hopefully I should... Okay. I think I do get one around here. Ooh, let's see. Is that where I came up? Uh... Yeah, it sounds like it's saying, get off. Oh, there goes the jelly beans. Or not. Um... Uh, let me just... Okay, I guess that is that the, how I came in, yeah. Alright, just throw it. Alright. Killed five mushrooms with one top. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a more creative way of saying it instead of kill two birds with one stone. Okay. Oh, is that... Ugh, that's how I... Is that how I came in? Wait.
All right. Uh oh. All right. Ooh, just be careful. Uh, is this where that second that penultimate card is? Let's just see. Well, well, I did it. When I get into the chamber, like the one of the last rooms before, well, before the finale, then I should uh, be able to successfully have a uh, six full lightning bolts so that I'm ready then to take on Voldemort and his beast. All right. All right. Flubber more mucus. Just, just what I need. What the heck was that? And um, there's a cauldron I can use to mix them, and I think I'll do that. Oh, I'll walk up to the cauldron. Well, I think if I go in here, I should be able to, you know, get to Aragog. Aragog, a human is here. Is it Hagrid? No, I'm a friend of Hagrid's. I came to help him. Why does Hagrid need help? Some say that Hagrid released a monster long ago in Hogwarts. It killed someone and it must have come back. It was me he released, but he sent me away. I've never gone back, and I've never heard anyone in Hogwarts. So you're not the guardian of the Chamber of Secrets? No, the guardian is an ancient creature. That spiders fear above all others. It killed a girl in the bathroom. Not I. Thank you. I think I should go now. No, you won't. I cannot deny my children such fresh meat. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. If I cut those support ropes with the finger, I bet Aragorn will fall into the pit. Okay, now I gotta. My children. Okay, whoa. Okay, so I have to cut that sound you heard of him. Yeah, see, now I have to hit it twice. That sound you hear is Aragog groaning every time. Okay. But every time I cut the web, one of his children will, or one, at least one of his children will come up. I do not want you little spiders on me as well. Okay. Bite him and my children. And yes, when the, all the webs are cut, then I'm gonna have to face Aragog himself. And that... Doing that as a kid, uh, like how it would frighten me so much. Because he'll come up close to the screen and bite. If, and like take Harry's stamina down. Yikes. Uh, okay, it looks like one more will bring him down. And now I've got to cast Rictus Emperor to bring his health meter down, but I've got to move out of the way as I do it. It's better not to stay in one place because then he'll move towards me. Like now.
See, I told you it's scary. All right, one more hit should get him. All right, there it goes. Brought down my meat, my health meter with the bolts a bit, but I've got enough Wigan Weld potions. I'll drink them up before I go into the chamber. And this, this brings an end to this video, the video for this walkthrough. The next part will be me heading down to the Chamber of Secrets, and then I may do an individual video when I take on the Basilisk. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I'll see you in the next part of this walkthrough.